everyone, Anthony Labella here with another episode of Challenge Accepted Dark Souls Edition in which I play through the game with no armor, no shields, no magic, and no bows. And last time around I defeated the Bell Gargoyles after a few attempts and I'm going to head to the Moonlight Butterfly next in the forest. That's usually the order in which I play the game. I'll, I'll head to the forest next after defeating the Gargoyles. And along the way there's going to be a, a giant demon enemy here, I think. Yeah, there he is. I'm just going to skip him for now because he's heavily armored. And I'm sure in my current state... Oh my god, he does a lot of damage. Okay, actually it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But I do not want to deal with him right now. So we're just going to run away. Cowardly ap approach often works, people. Remember that. Oh god. Oh they're dodging? Okay. That's not that's not okay. They have very long arms. Alright, these guys are a real pain. I want as many purple moss clumps as possible here to help me out when I get to Blight Town. Because I will be poisoned frequently when I get there, I'm sure. Blood red moss clumps, not so much. I, I never really had any use for those. Oh boy, oh boy, it's gonna be bad. Oh shit. I was doing a little poking around the forest before I started the video here, as you can tell. Based on my... My soul stain back there. I didn't make any progress, I just wanted to check something in the forest. Alright, and we should have a bonfire over here. Voila! There it is. actually going to skip this room to the right coming up. There's an item in there, but when you go to grab it, a bunch of trees pop up. And every time I run past here, the trees will be there if I, if I go get that item. So I'm going to wait until after I defeat the Moonlight Butterfly to get that. This makes it easier on me if I have to run back to the boss. Alright, and for Moonlight Butterfly here, I I use my Estus Flasks quite a bit, so I'm kind of nervous about only having five of them with no armor. We'll see how this goes. The Moonlight Butterfly isn't a particularly tough boss fight. It's actually one of the easier ones. It's just I often use my shield to help out. Now I'm gonna have to dodge constantly. But I can do that. I'm capable of it. Just have to believe in myself. Oh sh okay, that's bad sir. I never know... I only sometimes dodge that one and I just get lucky. Like, there. I didn't do anything differently, really. Just happened to get lucky. Seems like it was. Come on. Land, you stupid butterfly. Ah! Oh, I had my hand on the circle button. I just didn't do it in time. Oh shit. Oh shit. I hate 
hate that attack so much. I really do. I'm already down to two. I haven't even hit him yet. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's hope for a little more damage than that. even quite halfway. Looks like he has about 60% health or so. Oh no! Oh! Kind of get caught on the ledge there. Could have been a lot worse. something. Making me nervous. Oh. Land. Land! Stupid butterfly! No! Oh. Land, you stupid butterfly. Here we go. Okay. Actually, didn't get hit there. Oh, you went a little earlier that time. Get as many hits in. Oh shit. I don't remember what to do with this. Okay. Roll right under. Is he enough? So rolling a little bit early on that seems to allow me to avoid it completely. Yeah, okay, I think I have the timing on that one. Uh, a little late on that one, but didn't get hit. Only got hit once. Oh shit, I don't remember what this is. Oh my god. Oh. Ah, shit. Come on, land. Stupid butterfly. Please. Yes. Okay. Oh, I got greedy. I got greedy. Oh, one more hit and I would have... Ah. Uh, if one S to splash left. Oh, almost missed out on that one. Pressed to dodge a little bit too late. Luckily, the Dark Souls God smiled upon me in that brief moment. Come on, you know you want to land. You know you want to land. You know you want to. Just do it. Accept the sweet release of death. Said accept the sweet release of death, please. Oh boy. Okay. I says this flask. Now or never. It's now or never. Why did I do that? Why did I And he's landing? Oh my god, why did I dodge I and terrified, I'm dodging right and then left with that attack, and all of a sudden I decided to just keep dodging right. I panicked. <sighs> That's a tough pill to swallow, people. I I have had worse boss fights than that, though. I I have yet to beat Calamite the Dragon in the DLC, and uh, the amount of health that the Moonlight Butterfly had there was the amount of health that Calamite had, and I died at the very end of that one. So. That's my most devastating Dark Souls moment, but this one hurt. This one hurt too.
Alright, well, at least I got the dodging down on his one attack. I started doing that a little bit better, so... That'll save me some Estus Flasks, I think. But yeah, that's rough. That's a one-hit kill if he hits you with that one, apparently. So, I need to make sure I do not make that same mistake. See, that's what I should have done. <laughs> but I didn't. I wish I could tell you why I did, didn't do that. But. Crazy psychological issue on my part. Firefly's going back and forth a lot more than usual. Come on, here we go, right? No? Gonna land anytime soon? There we go. Instead of to the left. Which is not what I wanted to do. Oh, that was close. Too close. Stop it! Fuck! Yeah, it's okay, that's my first SS Flask. Still good. Got greedy. Alright, it is quite a bit of time to run away though, so... Oh shit! Oh! I had to itch. I itched my nose. That was a bad time to itch my nose. Going for it. I'm going for it. Okay. Whew. Can't believe itching my nose almost killed me there. That would have been a new one. Alright, second try. I'll take it. Alright, the 
divine ember here. And the basement key. That's right, I needed the basement key for something. Okay. Uh, we're going to use a homeward bone. Go back to the bonfire, level up a bit. like I could use more endurance and let's do strength a couple of times increase my attack okay now we're gonna head down well first let me go get that item then I'm gonna head down to the sea monster mini boss or hydra I don't remember what it's called Now we're gonna run away. I don't wanna fight all of those trees. Oh, they're too close. No bonfire for me. Hello. Goodbye. I think at this point I have a lot of trees chasing me. Hopefully they get tired and give up. Or not. Or not. Apparently these trees have plenty of endurance. Oh, you know what? I should probably deal with the trees before they get in the way of me killing this crystal lizard. Or you know what? Maybe I have enough room here to still the lizard without being disturbed. Back here, lizard! Okay. I think... Yep, they stopped following me. Okay. They're backing up. There's a set of armor over here that I don't need, but... I can't pass up a... soul in the distance. Okay, and there's going to be a bonfire and a black knight down here. Okay. I'll try to fight this black knight like I did the one over in Undead Parish where I just backstabbed him to death. Seems like the best way to deal with him. Alright, he has a long halberd though. Also doesn't help if I Oh god damn I roll into him. That was not a back step. Okay. Um Okay. Yeah. Black Knight with a Halberd a little bit tougher than Black Knight with the sword, I'd say. I think he can drop that Halberd though, and I remember when I first played Dark Souls, the weapon I used for most of the game was the Black Knight Halberd. I love that weapon, so... That'd be pretty amazing if you dropped it. And I think it scales with strength and dexterity? Or... Maybe just strength, but you need a certain amount of dexterity to wield it as well. dropping anything. I need those purple moss clones, come on. I'm gonna ignore that guy. Oh! He does not want to ignore me, though. Didn't get the uh, the grab on me.
This is going to be a long walk back every time I die. I hope I can defeat the Dark Knight here. Black Knight. I wonder if I could do a plunging attack over his head. I've never tried this. Seems kind of risky. Yeah, I think he's too far back anyway. Fair enough. Okay. Alright, so I need to dodge perfectly if I want to survive this. Ah, he's so quick! He's so quick! But I am also quick. I back. Oh, he's up against the wall, so I couldn't stab him. No! God! Couldn't get behind him because he's up against the wall. God damn it. Fuck you, Black Knight. Fuck you. I'm running out of stamina very often. I guess it's the downside to uh, two handing a weapon is that you're burning through stamina a lot. I don't remember it being much of an issue in Demon Souls though. Maybe it's just the weapons I had. Try this again. I wonder if there's a way to lure him out, run past him, get to the bonfire, and then you're in the cave right behind him, and then you could just backstab him from the bonfire? I've never tried that. I wonder if that would work. Alright, I need to make sure I... Do not put him up against the wall this time. Oh my god. I think he's going to be up against the wall. Oh. There's only so much I can do. Oh, come on. Really? Oh. I feel like I should be dodging under that leaping attack, but for some reason I end up right in his face. It's very annoying. Okay. I'm gonna give this one more shot here, and then I'm gonna call the episode. I think we're coming up on 30 minutes here. I think this is the most I've died in the game so far, up against this Black Knight. So he apparently is my toughest enemy so far. Or 
so there's any boss. Well, I'm getting 400 souls each time I die. Starting that up. And getting my souls back is not a problem. So we'll just pretend I'm farming for souls. That's the excuse. I, I've, been, I've been dying on purpose this whole time, everyone. Obviously. Just that my methods for farming are a little bit unusual. Alright, this is it. I can feel it. This is the attempt. This is where I murder this son of a bitch. That was a terrible start, but I can still salvage this. Oh my god! He what? He didn't even hit me. I need to... He didn't even... I have to see the replay of that when I watch this recording back. Okay, that doesn't count. One more attempt. That doesn't count. He didn't even hit me, and I died. His, his halberd landed the other way, and yet I died. That doesn't... That's one hell of a hitbox. One hell of a hitbox, that's all I'll say. Oh, don't dodge, don't dodge. Ugh, you're so annoying. Top off my health just in case. Imagine walking on this ground with no shoes. Character is brave. He's a brave soul. I certainly wouldn't be running around with no shoes here. Nineteen ninety one. It's the year I was born. That's got to be a sign, right? I'm. This is it. It has to be a sign. My birth year matches up with the amount of souls I'm carrying. That always means you're going to defeat your enemy, we all know this, to be true. And I will defeat you and I will take your halberd as proof of my victory. Oh god, no! Ah! Oh, I should've kept going! I got backstab. There it is. Yeah, I might yeah, just be able to circle around in the normal way here. Backstabs. Ah! Oh, come on, I should've been backstabbed. There it is! I told you! That soul count told it all. Good luck, sign. 
All right, now I can go to that bonfire. And I can rest easy. I think this is a shield. Yep, grass cast shield. That one might be the one that uh, replenishes stamina as you use it. It's pretty good. Yeah, the grass crest is slightly imbued with magic, which slightly speeds stamina recovery. Alright, let's level up while we're here. Oh, I, wait, I'm holding on to some items. I can, I can fix that. And that's going to do it for this episode of Challenge Accepted Dark Souls Edition. I will be back soon with another episode in which I fight the Hydra, I guess. Uh, that will be an interesting boss fight with no kind of ranged weapon. Uh, hitting his individual heads can be difficult, but we'll see how that goes next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.